know why you're here today. You want to see some of the best and funniest moments from your favorite TV show, and we can promise that you won't be disappointed with our list. From Ross's Unagi moments, all the way to the time when Joey lost his insurance, we have it all. Welcome to Film Shack. Today, we prepared for you the top 12 funniest friends moments. Number 12, the one with the routine. Ross and Monica are sibling goals because of their very close relationship. They're also both losers in personality. In this episode, Ross convinced Monica to go with their former routine, which is something you use in your application for the Loser Academy for Nerds as they stole the stage. Still, it was both hilarious and impressive to see these two siblings own the scene, and their antics even before the dance are such we want to see again and again. The best bit was when Ross thought he'd done a bang on good job at the dance, and kept getting into the face of the director as if he was going to be cast in the Step Up film series. Number 11. The one where Ross got high. The Friends Thanksgiving episode are highlights of each season, combining hilarity with tradition. They often featured celebrity guests, including Brad Pitt and Reese Witherspoon. One of the most memorable Thanksgiving moments is when Rachel makes a not-so-traditional dessert after the pages of her cookbook stick together. This results in a half-trifle, half-shepherd's pie creation. Bon appétit! Number 10. The One with Ross's Sandwich In another show, one of the main characters suffering from a mental breakdown in reaction to the breakdown of their marriage might have been rather harrowing, but not Friends, and certainly not Friends' most reliably hilarious character, Ross. Don't you just hate it when you're going through a divorce and your boss eats your sandwich? We'll tell you how not to react by pointing out how Ross went insane when the same happened to him. Here, Ross's fury knew no bounds, and he exploded in rage, shouting, My sandwich? repeatedly at his boss. That wasn't the only rage-induced moment of the episode either, as Ross would then be tranquilized and act like a complete goof for the rest of the episode. He got suspended from work, but at least he definitely didn't care about his sandwich anymore. You threw my sandwich away. My sandwich. My sandwich. Number 9. The one with Unagi. Ross is almost always right in stuff that concerns trivia. But in this instance, he looked like a complete moron when he thought Unagi was a state of total awareness. Ross would then try to prove it by claiming he had Unagi while Phoebe and Rachel didn't. But we all knew Ross was always a scaredy cat, as Phoebe and Rachel would ambush him in his house, causing Ross to scream like a little girl. They would do one better when they caught him trying to return the favor, only to beat him into submission. The end credit scene was the funniest of all, where Ross ended up being attacked by a couple of women he thought were Phoebe and Rachel. Looks like Unagi wasn't flowing through Dr. Geller as good as he thought it was. Number 8. The one where the stripper cries, or as it should have been called, the one with Joey on Pyramid. This is yet another great episode from season 10. While all the plot lines in this episode are hilarious, Joey's guest appearance on Pyramid is by far the funniest. Now, we know what you're thinking. Joey on a game show equals disaster. You're right. He almost lost every round, even though his partner's clues were obvious. Joey gets cocky when he has to guess things you find in your refrigerator but manages to mess that up too, because apparently it's common to find items such as paper, snow, a ghost, a dog, a rock, and the earth in one's fridge. The paper, snow, a ghost line is still one of Joey's most memorable. He was equally hilarious and obvious trying to explain things associated with the US Congress. Number 7. The One with Joey's New Brain Joey enthusiastically announcing that he's getting a new brain never gets old. In this awesome Season 7 episode, Joey's Days of Our Lives character, Dr. Drake Ramore, comes out of his coma and gets a new brain. Joey explains that when he comes out of the brain transplant, he's going to be Jessica Lockhart in Drake Ramore's body, causing Ross to whimper in despair at the scientific strangeness of it all. Cecile Monroe, portrayed by Susan Sarandon, who plays Jessica Lockhart, gives Joey some tips about being the character. Of course, Joey being Joey, he hooks up with her, but he does actually learn how to play Jessica by owning the room. The scene in which Joey makes his big entrance as Jessica with bandages over his head gets us every time. Who are you? What's the matter, Dina? Don't you recognize your own mother? <laughs> Number six, the one where no one's ready. In this side-splitting episode from the first half of the third season, 
an increasingly nervous Ross is waiting for his friends to get ready so that they can go to his big event. However, for one reason or another, everyone seems to be taking their sweet time. Joey and Chandler, for instance, get into the most mundane and asinine argument about who gets to sit in Monica's chair. Their entire fight is hilarious, but it all comes to a head when, after having his underwear hidden by Chandler, Joey decides to do the complete opposite, which in his mind means putting on all of Chandler's clothes. Joey wearing everything Chandler owns, uttering the now famous line, could I be wearing any more clothes, is one of the funniest friend scenes ever. Number 5. The one with all the resolutions. New year, same friends. Ross's determination to do something new every day, leading him down a slippery slope that ends with a risque pair of leather trousers. Ross is generally the friend who realizes how dim Joey is, but when he gets desperate, Ross always goes to Joey for advice. We saw it here in its best when Ross got stuck in his own leather pants when he couldn't pull them back up. Taking Joey's ridiculous advice, Ross attempted to lather lotion around his legs to lubricate the pants back up, but ended up making a paste due to the combination of powder and lotion. The kicker was that poor Ross had gotten the leather pants as part of a New Year's resolution to do something different every day. Getting kicked out of your date's apartment with no pants and paste on your legs counts, maybe? Number 4. The One with the Cop The number 298 is one every friend's fan knows immediately, and we won't elaborate on that because when you know, you know. Ross mentioned this number during the scene where he purchased a new couch, wanting the phrase, come to me, to sound both friendly and seductive. The legendary scene this episode is known for was when Ross had Chandler and Rachel navigate the couch on the staircase, shouting pivot at the top of his lungs. Not only did the couch not pivot, it got stuck, forcing Ross to cut it in half and claim to the store they had it delivered to him that way. Old cheapo Ross resurfaced when he took $4 store credit and compensation. Obviously, this is as much Ross's moment as Chandler's, but his reaction makes it 10 times better than it would have been otherwise. With probably one of the best outbursts of shut up ever seen on TV, complete with tongue waggle. It is simple, but Matthew Perry's comic timing of the Friends era makes it timeless. Even better is the what did you mean when you said pivot added just to wind Ross up even more. It's a fun example of how the two friends drive each other totally mad, but love each other anyway. Number 3. The One with All the Rumors In Season 8, Brad Pitt makes a guest appearance as Will Colbert, an old friend of Ross's who used to get bullied by Rachel. Will is visiting for Thanksgiving and is unable to let the past die, instead choosing to confront his old enemy about how he was treated. Hilariously, the character ends up struggling to contain his fondness for yams, which he blames for making him overweight earlier in his life. Also, in this episode, Joey attempts to eat an entire turkey by himself and even wears Phoebe's old pregnancy pants to help him out. Undoubtedly the best guest starring role of the entire show, Brad Pitt, then husband to Jennifer Aniston, stars as Will, an old schoolmate of Ross and Monica's who was bullied by Rachel. Over the course of the episode, it comes out that he and Ross had started an I Hate Rachel Green Club and spread a rumor that she was a hermaphrodite. Kids, eh? Number 2. The one where Joey loses his insurance. In the one that should have been called the one with Ross's fake accent, Monica and Rachel go to NYU to meet with Ross, who had recently started teaching there, and they make a startling discovery. Turns out, Ross had been speaking in a fake British accent in order to get his students' attention. Unfortunately, Ross didn't pick up anything from his ex-wife Emily because his British accent is pretty terrible in the most hilarious way. But it gets even worse when he starts phasing out the accent, at which point he begins to sound like a broken computer. And just when he finally clears the air with his students, an angry Rachel appears upset that he lied about getting the annulment, prompting Ross to revert to his fake accent persona with a jolly, Why hello, Rachel? Number 1. The one where Joey speaks French. In this season 10 episode, Joey auditions for a part that requires him to speak fluent French, which he can definitely do, according to his resume. Phoebe, who actually does speak fluent French, offers to teach him, and hilarity ensues. The name of Joey's character is Claude, so Phoebe starts by trying to teach him how to introduce himself. However, every time she asks him to repeat the words, Je m'appelle Claude, Joey speaks gibberish. Every Joey scene in this episode is absolutely hysterical giving us some pretty hilarious lines, such as, 
Blay de la Blay de Blue Blah Blay. Joey's audition and conversation with the director, and his victorious Tout de la Fruit at the end. Blue Blay, Blue Blah Blah. <laughs> That's not French. We would like to invite you to share your opinion with us. What moment do you think is the funniest? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to turn on the notifications bell. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!